Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing an example of an OEE monitoring system dashboard using Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. I hope this video is helpful. Let's get started. There are highlight items in this video, OEE calculation real-time, multiple machine group based on process group, mold count monitoring, and Dashboard 2.0 for OEE main dashboard. For example, in this factory, the process begins with plastic injection, which consists of 12 plastic injection machines. The products are then sent to the next stage, the assembly line, which has a total of 10 lines. Finally, the products move to the last stage, packaging, which has 9 lines. All of these machines will be monitored for their OE values, which can be viewed on the dashboard 2.0 that I will show you later. In the concept of collecting OE values from machines, I am still using the approach I showed in some of the previous videos. Each machine has some relays that connect to a Siemens S7-1200 PLC. The PLC then connects to a production computer, which functions as the back-end, reading values from the PLC and sending query to the database. The production computer also serves as the front-end with a dashboard for additional inputs like selecting work orders, entering employee details, and monitoring the machine's OEE values. On the server, I've also installed Node-RED, which will be used as the OEE dashboard to monitor all machines collectively, and can be accessed from other computers. I'm using Dashboard 2.0 as the dashboard platform. Conceptually, we'll use four relays for each machine. These include a start relay to calculate loading time, a stop or downtime relay to calculate availability, an output relay as an output counter to calculate performance, and an additional relay, the defect counter, to calculate quality. If defects cannot be automatically recorded, we can use manual input on the production dashboard. This is the concept for calculating OEE based on data recorded in the database. Next, I'll show an example of the production dashboard located at the machine. In this example, the dashboard uses the standard Node-RED dashboard. It's positioned near the machine and accessed by the operator. On this dashboard, the operator can select the work order to be produced on the machine. For the plastic injection machine, the operator can also select the mold number to be used. On this input page, the operator can enter their employee ID to record the name of the operator working on that shift. Another page on the production dashboard is the input OK and finish order page. Here, the operator inputs the quantity of OK parts produced by the machine. Alternatively, we could adjust the concept to input the quantity of defective parts instead of OK parts. Once the machine has produced the required quantity specified in the work order, the operator can select finish order. This updates the production order data to mark that work order is complete, allowing the operator to select a new work order. Next, we'll look at the server dashboard, which uses Dashboard 2.0. This dashboard allows us to monitor the status of all machines in the factory, from injection to assembly and packaging processes. On the injection process page, we can see the OE values for all machines within the plastic injection process group. Each group displays the status of a single machine. If its background color is green, the machine is running. If it's red, the machine is in downtime. And if it's white, the machine is off. This way, we can easily monitor the status of all plastic injection machines. With this dashboard, we can identify which machines are experiencing issues. From the displayed OEE values and graphs, we can also see if each machine's OEE is meeting the target, as well as view specific losses such as stop loss, speed loss, and quality loss. Next is the Assembly Process Dashboard page. Similar to the Injection Process page, here we can also see the status of all machines in the Assembly Process group. We can monitor the real-time condition of 10 machines on this page.
The next page is the Packaging Process Dashboard. Just like the Injection and Assembly Process pages, here we can view the real-time status of 9 packaging machines. The data refreshes every second, allowing us to see the machine conditions as they are in real time. As in my previous video, I prefer using a donut chart to represent OE values, as it helps illustrate the OE score along with other losses like stop loss, speed loss, and quality loss. The next page is the real-time dashboard. Here, we can view detailed information on each machine. First, we select the process group and specific machine to monitor. The dashboard then displays real-time conditions for that machine, including its status, current work order or item number, total output produced, and OE values, covering availability, performance, and quality. This real-time dashboard resets at each shift change, so the values are updated to reflect the current shift. The next page is the downtime report. On this page, we can see detailed information about the downtime that occurred on the selected machine and for the chosen date. The page also displays a Pareto chart of the machine's downtime, which is very useful for determining which improvements to make. Additionally, we can view the historical record of each downtime event, including problem information, identification, and corrective actions taken. This is optional and only available if the operator records this information on the production dashboard. In addition to viewing real-time OEE machine conditions, this dashboard also provides pages for viewing the machine's OEE history. There are two pages that display OEE history, OEE date and OEE range date. On the OEE date page, the data displayed corresponds to the selected single date. The difference with the OEE range date page is that it shows data for a date range, from the first date to the last date selected. In addition to the data I've mentioned, other data that can be displayed include the total hours for each machine. I show the total loading time for all machines within the selected process group. This data is useful for machine maintenance and other tasks. For the plastic injection process, we can also see the total output or shots from each mold within the selected date range. This helps with mold maintenance. Another page is the on-DAW system, which is used to view a list of machines currently experiencing downtime. This helps the maintenance team respond quickly to address any issues with the machines. To conclude this video, we've seen how Node-RED Dashboard 2.0 can be used to effectively monitor and manage OEE for machines across various processes in a factory. From real-time machine status to detailed downtime reports and OEE history, this dashboard provides valuable insights to optimize performance, availability, and quality. With features like machine monitoring, work order tracking, and real-time downtime tracking, the dashboard helps improve decision-making and streamline operations. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how to leverage this dashboard to enhance production efficiency. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. See you in the next video.